straight as a welder 100% of the time and learn pipe fitting. If you get an opportunity to take pipe classes, you want to be a pipe welder, do pipe fitting. Number one, you can hire in as either or. You know, we may not be hiring a welder today, but we might be hiring pipe fitters. You can get in, get your foot in the door as a pipe fitter and work and when a welding position comes open, you go, hey, I'm a welder too, you know, and then you can test out. But one of the biggest things about being a good welder, if you're gonna do pipe, is to know pipe fitting, okay? Number one, it makes you twice as valuable to a company. And number two, if you know what a good fit is supposed to look like, then you'll never bust a weld. You know, when you can tell that pipe fitter, no, that's that's not right, instead of striking an arc on it and welding on it. Because as a welder, once you strike that arc, you own that weld. And every company has a certain three strikes you're out type policy. You bust three welds within a certain amount of time, they're, they're sending you down the road and now you're looking for a job again. So if the pipe fitter's not doing their job correctly as a pipe fitter, having that knowledge, you'll be able to recognize that. So that's valuable to a welder. And like I say, you can also hire in different projects as a pipe fitter as well if you have to. It, you know, just depends on what's available at the time. So just something I was thinking about on the way over here that I wanted to share with y'all because <clears throat> that's something that we share with all of our employees. We have an employee that, that say is a scaffold builder and they say, I want to go to school for welding. Well, hey, do a couple pipe classes first so you know what pipe fitting is, how it's supposed to be done correctly, and understand uh, the aspect of that side of it. And then we'll put you into welding and get you going there, you know, and accelerate your career. Because on the job side, honestly, it used to progress like that. You started out as a pipe helper, and then went to pipe fitting, and then a welder's helper, and then a welder. And that's kind of like how the pipeline tends to do it too, if they're progressing um, their employees to that nature. So just a tip that I thought I'd leave with y'all. Um, I know y'all are all graduating this year. Are y'all planning on going in, trying to get into the workforce or going to college? What y'all's plan? I'm going to go to college. What's that? I'm going to college. Are you? Are you going to continue to pursue welding or I'm something else? I'm thinking of it for like a couple of years while I'm still like in school. Right. And whenever the time comes, I'm just going to go to like A&M and pursue what I want to do. Yeah. Hold on. Awesome. Well, just to bring a little bit of reality to you guys that are going to pursue a career in welding, don't expect to go out and be able to buy that fancy rig and go hire in and make a whole bunch of money right off the bat. You gotta be willing to start at the bottom. There's one major aspect that even people that spend a bunch of money on a welding certificate come to us and they want a job as a, they've never been in the industry, but they want to be you know, paid the big money that welders are making. We still have to bring them in at an entry level type position because they don't have the, the experience in the industry. There's one thing that understanding you know, what your craft is versus how your craft affects the area around you and the, and the type of work that we do, that's an experience that has to be learned. Doesn't matter what contractor you go to work for, they're all gonna kinda start you out the same way for the most part. But it's, it's also a matter of being able to pass those welding tests that are required for every different job. So you guys, y'all got a good skill to utilize and progress on and fall, fall back on or use um, recreationally, you know, to do, I mean, there's there's a big market in ornamental art, ornamental welding, you know, and things of that nature. So it's, it's, it's one of those skills that I'm real glad that I learned um, and I still use to this day. I've got a little cracker box machine in my house and when I need to patch up or uh, work on my barbecue pits at home, I can do that and I can, you know, and capable of utilizing that skill. So good luck to y'all with that. And anything we can do, let us know for sure. We appreciate you. Anytime, you know, we want to get together and come out and when y'all are when y'all got this shop rolling, I'd like to come back and play a little bit. Well, we'd love to have you. <laughs> we certainly appreciate Turner Industries and all you guys have done. Yes sir. Thank you very much, Jay.